The Radio Memories Network is brought to you in part by Liberated Syndication, podcast publishing made easy, Libsyn.com. That's L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. Continuing America's love affair with comedy and those lovable characters that made us laugh, we now go back to the early days of radio comedy and our imaginations with our featured comedy presentation. Let's sit back and enjoy this week's episode of Archie Andrews. Hello. Hello, Jughead. This is Archie. Come over right away. It's a matter of life or death. Oh, relax, Archie. Relax. Yes, and you relax too, folks, if you can, because here he is again, right out of the pages of Archie Comics magazine, with all his gang, Archie Andrews. Well, tonight is Saturday night as we look in on the Andrews home in Riverdale. We find Mrs. Andrews in the living room sewing as Archie enters. I'll be down to get you in a taxi, honey. Da, 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 da. Oh, hi, Mom. Well, Archie, what's all the rush? Big date, Mom. Excuse me, I gotta call Jughead. Well, don't let me keep you. <laughs> Operator, get me Riverdale 247, please. Better be ready about half past eight. Da 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 dee 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 da da dee da. Jughead? This isn't Gregory Peck. <laughs> Jughead, what kind of an answer is that? I heard that on a radio program. Ah. <laughs> Very funny. But listen, Jug, what time are you coming over here? As soon as I finish dressing. I want to get to the dance early. Why? Because the only time I can dance without bumping into everyone is when no one else is on the dance floor. <laughs> well, all right, Jug. We'll try to get there early so you can dance. You come over here as soon as you can, and then we'll call for Betty and Veronica. Okay. Are you dressed yet? No, but I'm going to get dressed right now. Okay, see you later. Yeah, bye, Jug. Huh? Bye. Oh, bye. Who are you taking to the dance, dear? Well, it's a long story, Mom. I wanted to take Veronica, but Betty wanted to go with me, too. And Jughead had no one to take, so we made it a double date and we're all going together. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I better start dressing or I'll be late. Oh, I'll be down with that chair in the taxi. <laughs> Boy, he's exactly like his father. Oh, Saturday night is the holiest night in the week. Oh, don't do Saturday night is the... Oh, hello, dear. Newspaper down here? Yes, dear, right there. Fred, why are you wearing your bathrobe and slippers? Ah, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Fred, I asked you a question. Yes, dear, yes, yes. Well. Fred Andrews, just what is so interesting mm-hmm. in that paper? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, nothing, dear, nothing. Just, just glancing through it. Yes, it says here, United Nations Week starts tomorrow. Yes, I know, but... General the... Assembly opens October 23rd. Yes, dear, that's fine, but I still want an answer to my question. Question? Question? question. What question? Well, I asked you why you're wearing your bathrobe and slippers. Hmm? Oh! <laughs> well, now, Mary, what do you want me to wear? A negligee and galoshes? <laughs> Fred, don't be funny, and tell me why you're wearing your bathrobe at 7.30. <laughs> well, Mary... If you have no violent objections, I am going to take a bath. A bath? Oh, but Fred, I thought we might go to a movie tonight. Oh, not tonight, dear, not tonight. No, sir, I'm, I'm just in the mood for a nice hot bath. Oh. Yes, sir, I'd like nothing better than to relax for about half an hour and just soap and soak. Yes, sir. That's my motto tonight, soap and soak. Or, uh, if you prefer, soak and soap. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can say that three times fast. <laughs> no, dear, I probably can't. Well, I'll just try it, Mary. Soap and soap, soak and soap, soap and soak and soap. <laughs> you see, it can't be done. Oh, honestly, Fred, <laughs> won't you ever grow up? Now go on, take your bath. <laughs> All right, Mary. That's exactly what I intend to do right this minute. Oh, I'm forever blowing bubbles, pretty bubbles in the air. Wonder if that's going to be hot enough. I ooh, ooh, it's hot as blue blazes. Huh? Now, a little cold water will fix that. <clears throat> Oh, they fly so high, nearly reach. Let's see now. That should be just about... Oh, freezing, freezing. 
Oh, just a minute ago it was red hot, and now it's... it's Well, a little more hot will do. There we are. Soap and soak, soap and soak, soak and soap and... No, 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 it can't be said, can't be said. Well, let's see now. The water should be just about... Ah, uh... uh, there we are. Just right. Yes, sir. Just exactly right. Now, I'll just... Uh, huh? Hmm? What do you want, Mary? Telephone, Fred. Telephone? No, no. Oh, for gosh sakes, who is it? But what does he want? He wants to talk to you. Oh, for... All right, I'll be right there. <sighs> At least he called before I got in the tub. He's been calling you all the time. <clears throat> Were you in the tub, Chris? Almost, but not quite. Now, I wonder what the dickens that old windbag wants. Shh, here you are. Huh? Oh, thanks. Hello? Oh, 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 yes, fine, fine, Tom. How's yourself? <laughs> Good. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. I, yes. Uh, well, I was... Uh, well, yes. All right, yes, let's do that. Yes. Well, glad you called, Tom. Bye. What did he want, dear? What did he want? He just wanted to say hello. Well, I guess he did. He did. I don't know why that old windbag calls me up all the time. He never has a thing to say. Not a blessed thing. Well, up to the bath. I'm forever blowing. Now, who locked this confounded door? Archie. Archie, are you in there? Yes, Dad. I'm taking a bath. Oh, I'm taking a bath. Well, that's right. A... Taking a bath? In my tub, Archie, for gosh sakes, I was going to take a bath. But she whiz, Dad. I'm going out, and i got to take a bath before I get dressed. Oh, sure. So you just jump right into my nice tub of hot water. Do you think that water grew there? Oh, gosh, no. I thought Mom got it ready for me. Oh, fine. I'd... Well, I suppose now that you're in the tub, you're in the tub. I sure am, Dad. But don't be all night about it, you hear? Be out in two minutes, Dad. All right, see that you are. Turn your back for a moment. Mary? Yes, dear? Mary, do you know what happened? What? Well, while I was down here listening to Tom Henderson say hello, your son got into the bathtub. Oh, for pity sake. I don't know why. The moment I turn my back, somebody's oh, Fred, always... Oh, will you answer uh, that, dear? Oh, all right, I'll answer it. But if that's Tom Henderson, I'll have something... Hello? Uh, Mr. Andrews. Oh, oh, Veronica, yes. This is Mr. Andrews. Is Archie there? Oh, no, he's upstairs in the... Uh, he's upstairs, Veronica. Oh, would you mind calling him to the phone? Calling him to the... Why, Veronica, that would be a pleasure. <laughs> Archie! Oh, Archie! Calling me, Dad? Yes, telephone. He was, who is it? Veronica! He was, I'll be right there. All right, Veronica, he'll be right here. Oh, thank you, Mr. Andrews. Well, Mary, I guess that'll teach the boy to go around bathing behind people's backs. <laughs> Fred, you're just cutting off your nose to spite your face. Now you'll only have to wait that much longer to take your bath. Mary, I don't care if I have to... Uh, oh, I never thought of that. Archie, but, uh, thanks, Dad. Archie, you catch your desert cold running around in that towel. Oh, I'll only be a minute, Mom. All right, see that you're no longer... Hello? Right? Hello, Archie. <laughs> How are you, Archie Kim? <laughs> Archie, for goodness sake, just what is tickling you? <laughs> Gee whiz, Dad, this is important. Well, important or not, either say something or get back upstairs and finish that bath. Okay, Dad, okay. Hello, Veronica. Yes? I've got to rush now. Did you want to speak to me about anything special? Well, yes. What time are we going to the dance? Well, I don't know. About 8.30, I guess. Well, could we make it a little later? Later? Uh-huh. I hate to be the first one there, don't you? I'd much rather make an entrance. Oh, well, sure, if you want, Veronica. Is that all? Uh-huh. Uh, see you later, Archie. Bye. Bye, Veronica. 
Well, what was so important? Well, you see, Veronica wanted never me mind, to Never mind, never mind. Just get upstairs and finish that bath. Dad, you? I'll be finished before you can say Jack Robinson. Archie, I do not want to say Jack Robinson. I want to take a bath. Fred, really, I think you're making too much fuss about this whole thing. You can take a bath five minutes from now. Now, Mary, that is not the point. I like to take a bath when I'm in the mood for taking a bath, not just any time. Oh, you have to be inspired. No, Mary, I don't. The point is that the boy had no right to go in that tub when I was all ready to use it. Fred, he didn't know. He knew I was waiting when he was on the phone, didn't he? Well, yes. And did you hear him? <laughs> hmm. Does he care that I'm waiting to take a bath? No, he sits there giggling. Mary, it's time that boy learned to think of other people. Fred, you're making a big fuss over nothing. He's probably through by now. Mary, I am not making any fuss over... Through? You think he is? Archie! Archie! Yes, Dad? Archie, are you out of the bathtub yet? Well, no, Dad. I'm waiting for it to fill up. Oh, fill up? Yeah. It was ice cold when I got back here, and I had to fill it up all over again. Mary, you see... Now, what I... Fred, remember your blood pressure. Blood pressure? Mary, in a minute, I won't need a hot bath. I'm boiling right now. up and down. Mary, is that boy going to stay in that bathtub all night? I'm sure I don't know. He had I... to. Get... I'm all through with the tub. When I was a boy, we took a... Through. Archie, did you say you were through? Yes, Dad. Well, it's about time. There, you see? Uh, see, see what? Oh, never mind, dear. Just go up and take your bath. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, madame. I'm certainly glad I have your permission. Uh... Mm. Getting people out of the bathtub all night. Oh, I'm forever blowing bubbles. Da, 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 da. Let's see now. I don't want to get it too hot again. I. Oh, for gosh sakes. Mary! Yeah? This water is ice cold. It is? Well, Archie must have used all the hot water. Oh, fine. Well, what do I do now? Just what? Just let the water run. There'll be more hot water in a minute. All right. Let it run. I don't know why we can't have enough hot water around here. I like to... Oh, 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 for gosh sake. Gee, where's Dad? What was all the noise? Just the water pipe. It was knocking. Oh, gosh, I thought the house was falling in. Archie, the house was not falling Fred, in. The what water... Was that noise? Mary, I was running the hot water faucet and the pipe started to clatter. That... But it never happened before. I know it, Mary, but it was just an ordinary pipe rattle. Evidently, the washer is gone. Washer? Yes, the washer. The rubber washer that keeps the faucet from leaking. It must be worn out and the air is getting in there and making the pipe knock. It's just as simple as that. Oh, I see. Well, you better forget about your bath, and I'll call the plumber first thing in the morning. Mary, tomorrow is Sunday, and you cannot get a plumber on Sunday, and I can fix a thing myself in but half Fred, a minute. I Mary, it's you... perfectly simple. All I have to do is go down to the basement and shut off the hot water, then open this faucet up and put in a new washer. Well, I still think a plumber should do it. Me too, Dan. Now, listen. I am not paying any plumbers to do this job. I can do it myself. I want a bath. And by gosh, I'm going to get one if I have to rebuild the house to do it. <laughs> Forget about it. I don't be 
boiler. Fred, how'd you ever get under there? Never mind how I got under here, man. You can tell Archie to try the water again. All right. And, and Mary, tell him to hurry. I can't stay here all night. All right, dear. Oh, dear. Hello? Oh, Mrs. Andrews, this is Betty. Oh, hello, Betty. Is Archie there? Well, yes, dear, but he can't come to the phone right now. He's up in the... Uh, he's very busy. Oh, gosh. I wanted to ask him something very important. Mary? Well, maybe I can ask him for you, Betty. Well, all right. Ask him what time he plans on getting to the dance. All right, dear. Hold on. Mary! Archie! Yes, Mom? Betty's on the phone. Betty? She was what she wants. She wants to know what time you're going to the dance, dear. 8.35. All right, I'll tell her. Hello, Betty. Mary! Yes, Mrs. Andrews? Archie says 8.35, dear. Oh, so late? Oh, gosh. Ask him if he couldn't make it a little earlier. We always get to dances late and miss half of it. I'd like to get there right on time this once. Well... Mary! All right, Betty, I'll ask him. Hold on. Archie! Yes, Mom? Betty wants to leave a little earlier, dear. She wants to get there on time for once. Okay, Mom. Hello, Betty. Yes? Uh, Archie said all right, dear. Okay, swell, Mrs. Andrews. Thanks a lot. Bye. Goodbye, dear. What did she say, Mom? She said all right, dear. Okay, swell, thanks. Fred, is that you? Well, for pity's sake, what are you shouting about? Shouting? Mary, I can barely talk anymore. Why? Because, uh, oh, Mary, never mind. Is that water off or not? Oh, I don't know. I'll ask Archie. You don't know? What have you been doing? Taking a gallop home? Fred, there's no need to be sarcastic. Archie! Yes, Mom? Is the water off up there? Sure, it's been off for an hour. Fred, the water's been off for an hour. Now what do you want us to do? Oh, nothing. I'll, I'll come up and fix the washer. Oh. <sighs> I'd still like to know what went on up here while I was waiting to find out if the water was... Off or not? Fred, it doesn't matter now. No, I suppose, suppose it doesn't. But I still think you ought to let a plumber do the job. Mary, may I remind you that I intend to take a bath tonight. All right, dear, but don't say I didn't warn you. I won't. Oh. oh they told me. Everybody tells me. Does anybody ever ask me what I want to say about the whole thing? Uh, Oh, now what? Archie, are you in there? Well, sure, Dad. Don't you want me in here? No, I don't want you in there. I'd open the door and let me get at that bathtub, will you? Open it? I never locked it. Archie, you must have. This door is locked. See? Gee whiz, I don't know how it could have happened. Archie, I am not interested in how it happened. Just unlock it. But, Dad, the lock part isn't turned. The doorknob must be broken. Archie, I can... St- uh... Oh, Broken? Oh, they couldn't be broken. I mean, I mean, I never heard of a lock just breaking. I, oh, well, how am I going to get in to take my... Archie, are you sure? Positive. No. Oh, fine. Fred, fine. what are you shouting about? Haven't you started your bath yet? No, Mary, not yet. There's just a little something else I have to attend to first. <laughs> what, oh, nothing important. I just have to saw this bathroom door open, that's all. <laughs> Just be quiet, Archie. Gee whiz, I never knew wood could take so long to saw. Well, Archie, your father's almost finished. Yes, just be, just be patient. I'm, I'm almost finished, all right. Well, hurry up or I'll be late. Archie, 
I want to get in there just as much as you want to get out. Archie, just be quiet. Ah, oh, there. There, it's finished. Dad, I think it's finished. Uh, yes, Archie, I know. Now, just see if you can knock that piece out, will you? What piece? The piece of wood around the doorknob that I just sawed. Oh, okay. Look out. Did it. it fell out. <laughs> yes, sir, there we are. At last. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Archie, get your head out of that hole and open the door. Boy, I bet not many houses have a hole in the bathroom door. Archie, I said to take your head out of that hole. Okay, I will. <clears throat> That's funny. Come on, hurry up, Archie, hurry up. Gee whiz, Dad, don't you think I would if I could? I want to take a... <laughs> What do you mean, if you could? Archie, what do you mean? Oh, for pity's sake, his head is stuck in there. Oh, boy, I'm sure stuck. Oh, now, how can his head be stuck? He got it in, didn't he? Yeah, but it, it sure won't come out. Listen, if it went in, it's got to come out. Whatever... Go- Look, I'll see that... Oh, Fred, don't push the boy's head that way. Well, it's the only way to get him out. Oh, hey, quit it, Dad, don't. Oh, hey. All right. Guess that won't work. Well, now, let me see that. There must be some way to do this. Well, um, uh, maybe you should take the hinges off, The hinges? Oh, no, I can't. They're on the inside. Archie, can't you open that door? How? It opens out and my shoulders are jammed against the wall. Jammed again? Oh, yes, that's right. Well... She was... I uh, sure look silly wearing a bathroom door around my neck the rest of my life. Fred, do something. Well, uh, uh, do you have any ideas? What will people think when they see me wearing a door? Especially a bathroom door. <laughs> Archie, people won't think anything. They won't. Fred, I think the boy's turning blue. Blue? Now, Mary, don't get hysterical. He's he's not turning blue. Just a little green. Uh, Archie, be quiet. Wait a minute. I know. I know. Archie, you must have put your head in sideways. The hole is wider that way. Oh, gee, maybe I did. Yeah, so just try to take it out that way. Go on. Just turn your head sideways. That's it. That's it. And I just, just, just a little more. If I turn it any more, I won't know if I'm coming or going. Oh, Archie. Archie, come on now. Just turn your head a little bit more. Here, I'll help. Oh, hey! Fred, you're wringing his neck. <laughs> That's the best thought of the evening. No. Come on, Archie. Oh. Turn. Ouch. Oh, I... Uh, oh, I... Uh, <sighs> I'm out. <laughs> there. That did it. Now, Archie, open that door and come out here. Thank goodness. Wow. Am I still in one piece? Of course you're still in one piece. Thank goodness that's over. Yes. Now, if you'll just let me get to that faucet, I'll put in a new washer and everything. Fred, why don't you give up the idea? Mary, I am not quitting now. But, Dad, why don't you call a... Now, I'll just open this faucet and... Gee, Oh, Oh, dear. Oh, uh, Archie, I thought you said the water was turned off. Gee, it, it was off, Dad. Archie, are you sure? Positive. Oh, no. How do these things happen to me? Here I go, traipsing around the basement all evening and come up here and Archie's locked in and he sticks his head into the hole and then I can't get in the hole when I want to. I'm, I mean the tub when I want to and now I find the water is still running. But, I... Fred... The pipes didn't knock. Yeah. The pipes didn't knock the least bit that time. Does that have to be explained to me? I, uh, oh, didn't knock. Oh, oh but, but, but if the washer's worn out, they've, uh, but I, I mean, the last time I tried the pipes, they were, they were, uh, uh <laughs> they didn't knock, did they? No, they didn't. Well, then let's try that faucet again. By gosh, they don't knock. And just feel that water. Piping hot. <laughs> well. Oh, that's swell, Dad. Yes, dear. What did you do to fix it? What did I do to fix it? What did I do? Yeah. Well, you 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 know, Mary, that that's easy. I I just went down to the basement and I I I uh. Well, I'm, I I mean I, I I well I simply went under the boiler and and while I was uh well it's it's a highly technical matter, Mary. I don't think. I, oh, isn't that the front door? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. I bet that's Jughead. Yes, yes, I, I bet it is Jughead. You'd you better hurry. Yeah, well, see you later, Mom. See you later, Dad. Yeah, yes, uh, see you later, Archie. Hey, Archie! I'm coming, Jug, I'm coming! 
Well, saved by the bell. Well, dear, I guess I can finally take that bath. Yes, dear, I suppose so. But um, later, I wish you'd explain that highly technical matter of how you fix the water pipes. <laughs> I'll be downstairs if you want me. Yes, all right, dear. Later. I'll, I'll explain it all later. <laughs> Much later. Well, it's been quite a night. Quite a night. Uh, that's all water under the bridge. I suppose anything else can happen. No, I'm forever blowing a bubble. Well, that should be enough water, I think. <clears throat> well, let's see how that is. Yeah, just right. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I'm forever blowing bubbles. Pretty. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's a little warm. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Mm. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Oh, this is just what the doctor ordered, just what the doctor ordered. Mm-hmm. Soap and soak. <laughs> Soap and soap, soap and soap, soap and soap and soap and soap. I no. <laughs> can't say it, can't say it. <laughs> soap. Oh, where is the soap? Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. Fred, what now? Would you bring me a piece of soap, please? It is a soap tray. No, it isn't. Mary, I say that there isn't a drop of soap in here. Archie must have used the last of it. Oh, dear. That's terrible. Mary, never mind the editorial comments. All I want is another piece of soap. Well, that's just it, dear. There isn't any. I went to six stores today and couldn't get a single cake of soap. Fred, you just have to forget your bath. Forget my... Oh, how do these things happen to me? Yes, when it comes to things being peaceful and quiet around the Andrews home, it's always no soap. You've been listening to another chapter of The Adventures of Archie Andrews, written by Carl Jampel, and based on the copyrighted feature appearing in Archie Comics magazine. Archie is played by Bob Hastings, Jughead by Harlan Stone, Mrs. Andrews by Alice Yorman, Dad by Ian Martin, Veronica and Betty by Gloria Mann and Rosemary Rice. This program is directed by Kenneth McGregor. But now for another glimpse of the Andrews. Later that night, Mom and Dad have just gotten into bed. Well, uh, uh, good night, dear, good night. Good night, Fred. Mm -hmm. But I still say the whole thing was Archie's fault. Oh, Fred, let's forget it. It doesn't really matter. Well, all right. But it does matter. Fred. Good night, dear. Good night. Good night, dear. <laughs> Mom, Mom, Dad. Oh, oh Archie, for pity's sake, don't make so much noise. Are you home already? Yup, and boy, did I have a swell time. Really? And how Veronica and I won the jitterbug contest. But that dance committee, you'd think they'd spend a little money on prizes. Well, didn't you get any prizes? Oh, yeah, Veronica got a bottle of perfume. Well, that's nice. Oh, sure, but you know what I got stuck with? Oh, what? Bath soap. Plain old bath soap. What? Oh, no! <laughs> Listen next week for more of the merry adventures of Archie Andrews. This is Bob Sherry wishing you a very pleasant weekend. So long. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. 